Do I think Silverhand Paladin is good? What is Silverhand Paladin? I don't think I've heard of that. Do I keep Cold Case? It's a good Frost spell. Kind of want to look for early ways to spin mana. You have a bad feeling that Balloon Mage is still the best mage deck? It probably is. It probably is, which is unfortunate, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. If only this were an Arcane spell. The Warhorse Trainer list? I think it's fine. I don't know if it's better than the normal Pure Paladin list. The worst matchup got deleted from the game. What was the worst matchup exactly? I need a frost spell. This is castable on an empty board, so that's kind of good. So this could be Svalna the Priest, and against Svalna the Priest, objection is really, really, really good. But it doesn't further my quest, is the thing. I think I'd do it. I have plenty of time to finish my quest against this deck anyways. And if they, they play into this, they get screwed. I really regret pricking objection now, huh? I really, really regret picking Objection. They went Illuminate Amulet, so I was like, all right, it's probably Svalna Priest, and then they just coin out a Shadowed Spirit? And they play Switcheroo? I don't, I don't understand what's, I don't know what's happening, guys. Spirit OTK. Oh, I see. This isn't the most efficient way to spend mana, but I don't have an arcane spell, so in the meantime, this is the most efficient way to spend useful mana. I don't know. And you hit the tradable amulet messed up man I think I need to hit arcane spells I can hit arcane bolt unfortunately I did not hit arcane bolt it's the only target I didn't want to hit I don't see how I win this game. This does not look like a winnable game with what's transpiring. Hey, Sok, what's up? I lose my discover. So I think I do this. Fire cell seems good here. I take nine, but I probably lose the hero card. So, fine. Next turn, what's the play? Alibi, play the quest reward, and then question mark, question mark, question mark. Alibi, fire cell isn't better. Why am I playing Alibi this turn? I'm trying to save Alibi for the turn where I have to play the quest reward, because that's the turn where I have the most mana locked up. To take three, instead of nine, it saves me six health. 
Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's comparable. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was better. Best mage you mage? Yeah, I'm trying this out. I'm not sure if it's good. I could even not alibi now because I have uh but I kind of want alibi because that's the turn they want to play Zyrella. The thing is, if they have this, if they have Zyrella, I lose. Maybe I don't lose. Maybe I just play both actually. I think I'm just going to say I'm dead to Zarela because this sets me up for a much better payoff, right? I think this is the winning line. And if I don't die this turn, I probably win. I think I probably die, but oh well. Oh, not dead? Yo, that's the best kind of alive. Oh, stop. What are you doing? Why is this in your deck? What am I playing against? Guys, I have so many questions. Huh? Is this an autocomplete priest? Yeah, I hit the one minion. Very funny. I think I have to play Alibi this turn. Oh, that was not the right play. I forgot it mills me. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, they didn't have Zero last turn, so I decided to hold Alibi because they probably don't draw it this turn. But filling my hand was really bad because now I can lose the ignite. I actually probably lose if I lose the ignite. Oh no. Ooh, those. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna do this so that I can uh, make the frozen touches better. Okay. This infuses the frozen touches. I've seen two flash shields. I don't know if they're also running Desperate Prayer. They get armor with the Zyrella, but if they play Zyrella here, that means they're not getting good damage into this alibi. And then I have another alibi, but I probably die at that point. Send me a postcard, darling. Well, now I do have lethal through hero card. Hero card puts them to 21 and I have 21 right now. I appear to be chilling. Is this a real deck? I have zero games on it. I understand it's a fun deck. Ooh, was that correct? If they buffed my minion, I wouldn't have been able to kill it off, and then I actually would, I mean, they don't know what I'm playing, but if they did know what I was playing... What's it called? Random mage? Hey, Ronak. No, this is this is like a quest mage. Do I keep the cold case? And do I keep it with the frozen touch? That's another question. I want to say no. Would you run the pre-nerf hero card? No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit in the stack. You don't need to do that to win the game with this stack. In fact, you probably just don't want to spend seven man on that. 
Maybe I don't want it. This is what I want to do. Let's kill a rogue. One on one, just me and you. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's nice actually mulliganing for the classes that you actually see. Such a weird concept, I know. Such a weird concept. Thanks, success me. I'm glad you like it. Jackpot, eh? Okay. Extra ignite. I could just play an ice barrier next turn, which isn't bad. I'm actually into this ice barrier. Is back in town. Um, we probably struggle against the traction with this deck, huh? My hand is too full. Bye bye, Shadow Step. Add one thief. That's a good reference, Madman. This deck used to run one uh, uh one one thief in some uh versions boom, 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 boom. Mm, I might try to find a fire spell here it's more likely to find a fire spell here than off the rune orb and this makes it playable that one is actually not playable I've been playable this turn What's the purpose of Amulet of Dying in the Fallen Priest deck? Uh, you can only run so many useful cards, and that is A, a tradable that lets you just put it back in your deck and get something else, and two, um, when you go infinite with the Radiant Elementals, that's not always good enough to win the game, right? Like, a few Radiant Elementals aren't going to win. So you get a, a discover a death rattle, shadow spell for one mana, call the grave, and then whatever death rattle you pick there, you can just keep rosing. <sighs> Frost and Arcane. I'll play the three mana one because it fills out. It's more mana efficient. Blizzard buys me a turn if I need it, and that seems good enough. I have Arcane. I have Fire. I don't have a Frost spell, so I could actually. I mean, I have Blizzard, but so maybe I actually take Frozen Touch so I can complete the quest next turn. That sounds good to me. Yeah, I actually didn't mention that as well. Some lists actually are just running Light Share Elemental, and that way it gives you a way to to, uh, to stabilize. If you don't have the combo fast enough, you play Light Shower, it dies, you res one. Let's muddy the waters. Pew! I mean, I have an Alibi as a Frost spell, but I might not want to play that. I almost want to ignore this and go face, but maybe I do clean up the board a bit. Oh, you know what? We probably just do this, right? And then next turn we can complete the quest. This one. Yep. Next turn we can alibi seven, uh, the seven seven, or we can play a frost spell. Is death rattle rogue still unplayable? It still has its high rolls, but I think after the nerfs, it's just not viable. Way too inconsistent. We have Wow, that seems like a pretty good draw here. Now let's me complete the quest, play the 7-7, seven, seven, and ship an Ignite Face. I have proven myself. I demand Pew! I saw two minions. 
This quest used to be plus three spell damage, huh? Used to be pretty good. Is it Ignite the Wind Con? Yeah, you have a lot of other burn spells which should get the job done by themselves, but Ignite gives you longer staying power as needed. Five, 10, 11, not quite. I played the wrong one. That one was close to being infused. This sets up lethal. Scabs. Looks like a scabs angle to me. Do we have lethal still? 10, 11, no. That will do it. Pew, pew, pew. 